Hi, I'm Dr. Julie Pham, here to help you practice curiosity to elevate your work and life. Today, we're going to talk about why learning someone's intentions matters. When someone hurts you, disappoints you, frustrates you, it's so easy to assume you know why they did what they did, what their intentions were which then prevents you from taking the time to learn what their actual intentions were. This can lead to denial, passiveness, misunderstanding, resentment. When you take the time to learn someone's intentions, you get a chance to build trust, foster empathy, and strengthen those relationships. Now, I sometimes hear people say, well, just assume good intent. I think that can actually hurt us and prevent us from trying to find out what the intent is. The only difference between good intent and bad intent is if I like the person or not, if I trust the person or not. Let me give you an example. There is Bob and John. I like Bob, I don't like John. They both use this term to describe Asians that is, I find hurtful. But with Bob, since I like him, I know he didn't mean to hurt me. He had good intentions. John though, John had bad intentions. He meant to hurt me. In either case, because Bob didn't mean to, I decided not to say anything. And with John, well, I just talk about John and complain about John to other people. See, I don't go about trying to find out what their intentions are. Now, if I were to take the time to find their intentions, I could actually deepen our relationship and we could all learn from one another. Oftentimes, people don't even know what their intentions are. We just do things automatically. And so when we engage in that conversation, we're helping them increase their self-awareness around their own intentions. And we're also increasing our own self-awareness around why we're having the reaction that we are. It can be quite daunting to try to take that time to understand someone's intentions. And the way you can do that is by starting with some clarifying questions. I'm going to give you some examples. Let's go back to that early story about Bob and John. What you want to do is to recap the situation, what they did and how you felt about it. And it doesn't actually matter what you think their intentions are, good or bad. You can use the same approach. So I could say, I noticed that you use this word to describe Asians. And I actually find that word hurtful because it has a really negative connotation. And now here are some different questions you can use to start that conversation. Number one, are you open to having a discussion about this? So what you're doing there is asking for consent. Number two is, I'd really like to understand where you learned that word. Or number three, I'd like to understand why you decided to use that word. So you're not saying, how dare you, you're so offensive. You're actually trying to initiate a conversation, practice curiosity to understand that person's intentions. I hope these strategies will help you in developing your own personal growth, emotional intelligence, and interpersonal skills. If you found this video useful, please do click like and share it. You can read a more detailed version on our blog at curiositybased.com.